Hi, hi, hi. I did a step one <laughs> of a flat wash that I was going to uh, do this fall scene. Maybe y'all saw it. And it just totally, oh, well, the flat wash wasn't bad, but my step two left so much to be desired. I'll put my paint, oh, I don't know. I'll put my paint like this. So I'm gonna come back in today, but I'm gonna come at it from a totally different perspective. And if it doesn't work, then um, I'm just not gonna record it. <laughs> going to post it. Um, one of the things that we try to do, or I try to do with a negative painting, is you're painting around your, your uh, shapes. So what I want to do is leave some white area to represent my leaves. This is my fun little brush that I love called Slappy. Slappy and I have so much fun together. So since it's Saturday and I just don't want to think about what I'm doing, I just want to play. Slappy is my go-to brush. He's a little squirrel hair from a collection of um, dagger brushes, which are narrow and um, slanted. I have a couple others that are that came in the same set with Sloppy. I call him Sloppy because I just never know what he's going to do, and um, because I seldom know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to come in here with Sloppy, and we're just going to make some marks. Um, I'm use, uh, the first one that I used is my Jane's Gray. Going to come in here with some, what is this, raw umber. Create some more shapes. I'm letting this one just be totally, totally organic, not planning ahead. That's probably what gets me in trouble. I know, I need to plan. I need to plan what I'm doing. The water the pigment, of course, is going where my water has gone. Get some leaf shapes here. Actually, sloppy might not be big enough for what I'm trying to do, but when I started my watercolor journey, interestingly, um, it was at the same time that I had three, four separate surgeries on my hand. And I realized I have been painting with watercolor for four years. And all four of those years that I was painting, I had my hand either in a brace or I had, had surgery on either the left hand or the right. Isn't that interesting? And yet that's when I fell in love with watercolor and actually was getting results that I enjoyed. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. And uh, now that my surgeries are over, it's time to come back in and see what I can do. My hand still is not the same because it has a plate in it, but um, in my thumb, so it might have a joint that doesn't move. So it's just been an interesting journey. In fact, I used to hold my brush like this. Maybe I need to get back to that because that was what I used to do that was quite successful. So maybe when I'm frustrated, 
that's what I need to do is hold my brush like this. But anyway, as you know, I was talking about fall and fall colors. They're not here yet, but uh, they're coming. I know they will. I'm adding some Aussie red gold color that I love. I'm going to add it up here. Let it just kind of run into the areas where I have already added some water. And just guide it with Slappy a little bit here. See what it wants to do. It should actually give us a nice ground covering for our fall leaves in the grass. Look how nicely that's coming down and granulating. I, I do like that. I've said that before, love granulation. I love what it does. I love the marks it makes. I'm working on a smaller piece of paper today and for a reason, actually. Um, those of you that know and follow Lee Ron, he was saying when you're trying something new to try it on a smaller piece of paper, uh, especially if you're learning some new technique or something. I'm actually not learning, I'm just playing. But I thought that was a very uh, interesting observation um, to go in with a smaller piece and let it because you don't have as much space to uh, to cover and you can kind of play with it as you wish and uh, I like the, what this is doing that kind of looks like a leaf right there doesn't it come back to my Aussie red gold, add some more down here. Let it just fall and make some leaf shapes. That's one thing about the yard in the fall is we have all different layers of leaves, different shapes, and they're really fun. Come back in here some more with my James Gray. You see a little bit of a shape here, like it could be an oak leaf. You do have a big oak tree out there. And um, it always drops some beautiful leaves for us. So my step one that I posted the other day, when I went on to step two, I really messed it up big time. So, um, I didn't even record it. It was, it was really bad. Just take my word for it. So today I'm just playing. Sometimes that's my best recourse is just to stop what I was doing and just come back and play. And, uh, and just let the old water do its thing. The water and the brush. And sloppy never lets me down. It's part of why I like watercolor, is it likes to do its own thing. And to me, that's really fun. That's the fun part of it. I see some leaf shapes forming on their own. And uh, that'll give me something to go back into when it's dry. I do have it taped down. I was talking about tape the other day. How um, Steve Mitchell recommends the white tape. I found I had some. But as you can tell, it was at the very end of the roll. <laughs> oh, so I ran out and uh, did the other side with blue. This is a Saturday playtime. Get some more of this 
Aussie red gold. Got that run down. Make some shapes. And just play. Then I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll we'll see what happens. I'll come back into it later and uh, see what I can do or not do, <laughs> which is often the case. It's more what I can't do than what I'm able to do. Kind of like this spot right here, making like a little leaf. Okay, I, I'm, I'm just going to play with this a bit. Hope you have a wonderful Saturday. Or whenever you're watching this, it may not be Saturday. Who knows what day it is where you're watching. Whatever. And whatever it is, enjoy your day. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your family. And... Um, Enjoy painting. Some more Aussie red gold. Start to dry up here already. Probably because I have these lights on. Paper's puffed up, so you know it's wet. I'm going to leave these little white speckledy things. They're not little things, they're a piece that's actually the white of the paper showing through. It's like maybe another oak tree there. I mean leaf. Yeah, I like holding my brush like this. That's the way I painted for months and um, it feels comfortable. So I'm gonna continue with that. So I'm gonna stop for now. And uh, we'll pick it up later, maybe, depending on how it's going. Bye.